So, Nick, it's been an interesting start. Become a head coach, start 2-0, and and almost the entire town's complaining about it. If people are going over the top, talking about the passing offense, do you believe that there's been an overreaction about the Eagles? Yeah, they're, they're 2-0, not 0-2. Uh, yeah, hey, it, it's okay, though. You know, hey, our standard is high, and I know the city's standard's high, so, uh, you know, let's, let's go. Let's get better. There's a certain mentality that we want to reflect. To master what we need to master. That's big time. We've got some grit. We've got some toughness. We want to be able to impose our will. We're not going to take really anything from anybody. We want to make sure people feel this Philadelphia Eagles defense. We're tough. We're together. Family on three. One, two, three. Hey. This has been tremendous. I tell you what, the transition. I got to thank Mr. Lurie, Howie, Nick, uh, really everybody part of the Eagles uh, organization for really giving me this opportunity. And the one thing that we've agreed on, we've talked about as a staff and, a, and really a, a group, is there's a certain mentality that we want to reflect. And I really believe in the city's team's got to reflect the city. And we've got some grit. We've got some toughness. We want to be able to impose our will. We're not going to take really anything from anybody. Uh, and we want to make sure that people feel us. And that, that's what we want. We want to be able to be felt, whether you're watching us on TV, whether you're in the stadium, and obviously on the field. We want to make sure people feel this Philadelphia Eagles defense. I think the biggest challenges you face, you know, anytime you're implementing a new system or there's a new person coming into a system is the adjusting and adapting to some, there are some new terms, there's some new words, some new language that we use to identify certain things and really preaching the whole concept of the teaching behind why all these things are happening. The first thing that we try to do when we're trying to create buy-in is let them know what the standard is and really uphold the standard that's been here. Let them know that we're not changing the standard of the defense and the expectations of it. And then the ultimate part that helps with buy-in is feeling and seeing success play out, you know, on a game day. I think that continues to create buy-in and, and creating buy-in is constant. You know, I got to be honest with them and they got to be honest with me. And then we, we kind of build this process together and build this defense together. And that's really what we've been doing. Goosebump time in New England as Tom Brady returns to Gillette. It's too late now. Like I always say, don't you wait, man. We're about kicking ass from the first play to the last play. You know we're going to win this game? This group right here. Here's the third and four for the Patriots. Pass deflected and picked off. And running with it is Slay. And he breaks the tackle and gallops to the end zone for the pick six. Going into Foxborough, we knew it was going to be a lot of adversity. And then Slay gets that big pick. And, um, you know, we just going in there. We just making sure that we do the best fly around and attack the ball. Here's the pass drop, fumble by Elliott and recovered by Zach Cunningham. And big Jordan Davis. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's just the start of it. That's just the start of it. They drive, um, I remember they threw a screen and then we always preach about big man running. So, you know, we run out of the stack and then I just went for the tackle and then just seeing like the ball come out, you know, it's like, oh, it's not, we got it, that's our ball. And then, you know, we just want to make sure we get plays after plays after play, they come in bunches. So we just want to make sure we get them turnovers. You never know, uh, you never know. Big man getting out of the stack, baby. And second and five. Jones, knocked down at the 43. Wow, what a rush. And this was the biggest defensive rush of the game. Yeah, my first sack or a half sack, but you know, it's a good feeling to share with my bro, Josh. You know, that's something that we talk about. We see next to each other in meetings that we're always talking about, you know, like what happens if we get a half sack together and stuff like that. So to actually see it come to fruition and to be my first sack, it's pretty nice. It's a good feeling, but you know, we always looking for the next one. Always putting our hat down, getting to work, wait for the next opportunity. Man, I think they've been really aggressive. I think they've been physical. You've, you've been able to see that, you know, we really try to hang our hat on knocking the run out early and then earning that right to rush the passer. And they've done that. You know, we've knocked the run out early. You've seen some physical plays, guys getting their hands on people, knocking them back, and then creating some disruption and creating some havoc around the quarterback. In trouble. Guess who comes right up the middle? Cox. Fletcher Cox, he knows when the game gets important. And the Eagles the have a season opening seconds. win on the road. How have they come? No, never easy. Hey, 
That's how you fight. Right. That's right. That's right. No matter how it goes. No matter how it goes. We keep going. Hey, hey, guys. The the first half, the first half couldn't have ended any here for us, right? Right. But we overcame adversity. It's fucking hard to win in this league, especially on the road against a team that, that's like that. That's a good defense. We faced adversity and we came out with a win. All right. You got. We got a game now on, on Thursday night. Rest, recovery. All right. And we play again real soon. Man. It's a whole. It's a whole bunch of shit to learn from. It's a whole bunch of shit to clean up. We mm -hmm. all know that. But enjoy this win. And continue to grow, man. Every every person looking themselves in the mirror and, and holding themselves accountable, including myself, everybody in this moment. All right. Let's continue to grow. Yep. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Chest out, head up, baby. My first one with JD again. How you doing, buddy? Man, I'm wonderful, man. We always come out of the game knowing that we can improve. Um, we're always hungry. That's the beautiful thing about football. We're always looking for the next one. Um, this league is demanding. So, you know, you have one game, you got to put another one back together. And fortunately, we have another opportunity to do it on Thursday. And um, we just want to see what we can do. These weeks, these short weeks, show your identity. Identity, who the f you are, regardless of circumstances. And who the f are we? We're tough, we're together. So team meeting the night before the game is like our final rehearsal. It's like a brush up on everything that we've been preaching over the week. Points of emphasis, things we need to look out for. Um, and just another opportunity just to talk before we get out there and just really get the emotions flowing. When Coach Seriani goes up there and gives a speech, it really tells me to lock in, tune in, and focus on what's important. We got it on both sides. Offense and defensive line, we lead the way right here in our toughness. But who says that the running backs can't be physical and punish them every time they try to tackle us? You know, definitely I believe that all those meetings and team meetings beforehand, you know, gives us a little bit more edge just to push a little bit harder, fight a little longer, and just stick it out for the rest of the game. It's about to be crazy first game in the lane. Man, can't, can't expect nothing more, and it's a beautiful day in Philly. Just like all the other ones I spent. Can't wait. I feel good, you know, I'm ready to play, ready to ball out with my brothers and uh, try to get the dog. Let's see. Eagles fans, this is the main event. The field is ready. The players are ready. Philadelphia is ready for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Let's get ready to rumble! And week two is underway in Philadelphia. Second and nine. Hang it in, throw as low as the pressure began to develop. And that's a terrific defensive line and deep. The big man, Jordan Davis, you can see he's big, but he's really quick. The big fella gets in there in a hurry. Meanwhile, Cousins is lucky he holds on to that. And you know, man, they're having a rough time getting started. They <laughs> sure are. To be able to do that my sophomore year, um, it just feels really good. But you know, we always hunt for the next ones. Um, it's a long season, and we just want to make sure that we do that for every game. You know, it might be my night, it might be Jalen's night, it might be anybody's night. So everybody's doing their job. We don't want any drop off. And as this year goes along, we just want to steady improve and steady climbing. And hopefully we're at our best when the time comes. Cousins loses the ball, and it's picked up. And down to the seven yard line goes Fletcher Cox. They are so deep and so good along that defensive front. Four turnovers, seven on the season. But I, I've heard a lot, Ike, from the fans that they feel like that there's way too much criticism for a 2-0 team. Do you believe that there's been an overreaction about the Eagles? They are 0-2 after all. Yeah, they're 2-0, they're not 0-2. It feels like they're 0-2 based on everybody's reaction after the first two weeks. But has there been too much of an overreaction in a negative sense? I got to say yes. Listen, Brandon, you've been through a lot in Philly sports. You ever think you'd be 2-0? And there'd be so much criticism of the team? Oh, man. You know how I go. Because it's just the expectation level of what you go into the season with. But I'm happy we 2-0. Well, we're 2-0, which is good. But we're 2-0, and we know that we have not played football the way we want to play football yet. And um, I think everybody is very cognizant of the fact that we need to continue to improve.
So, Nick, it's been an interesting start and one that I got to imagine never envisioned a scenario. Start 2-0 and and, like, almost the entire town's complaining about it. It's been kind of uh, – it's been different <laughs> this year, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, it's okay though. You know, Hey, we're, our standard is high and I know, you know, and, and I know the city standards high. So, uh, you know, let's, let's go, let's get better. Well, Nick, you know, let's flip it to the other side of the ball. I think one thing that is perhaps the biggest positive so far this year, eye opening new development is the, uh, superlative play of Jalen Carter and the emerging play of, of Jordan Davis. It's really been impressive. I'm smiling here because, <laughs> I, you know, obviously we all have seen the, the, how impressive he's been in practice. Um, and, and in the game so far, he just got to put his head down and work, you know, it's a long season. Um, we're really pleased with where he is and, and it's just, Hey, you know, it, what's really important about a season is you don't get too high and you don't get too low. There's going to be some lows and there's going to be some highs and you got to stay steady throughout. And, that, and that's going to be my message. That's my message to the entire team, uh, always. Um, and just work, be focused on getting better right now. Nick, good luck Monday night uh, in Tampa Bay. Uh, good luck, and we, we look forward to talking up the road. Thanks, Nick. All right, thanks, guys. Thank All you, right, Nick. There he is, Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni. All right, message for the week. Block out the noise. Control what you can control. Nobody in the NFL is playing to a Super Bowl level right now because it's a mountain. It's a process. Our job is to get better today so we can go 1-0 this week. Our goal is to get better every day. We control that. And if we can get better every single day, I'll play our chips as they lie at the end. The next part of this is let's get back to having fun. One thing last year that I know that brought us together as a team is that we did have fun. You can have great relationships, you can have a ton of fun, and be highly, highly demanding. That's this culture. When you started playing football, it wasn't because of expectations anybody had, it's because you enjoyed playing it. Continue to be you. Lean on our connections. Have fun. I want to see your celebrations. Right? I want to see what you got on defense, and maybe I'll say who's better or not, the defense is interception celebration or the offense. Have fun. In the league, we always strive for excellence. You know, obviously you want to beat everybody, you want to blow everybody out by 50, but when you come out there clean, you come out there with a win, you want to appreciate it, but it's also a lot of room for improving. So our best game is yet to come, but at the end of the day, a W is a W. Uh, we just want to make sure that we just keep on continuing, focusing on the fundamentals, because that really gets you over the edge. Dominating defensive performance last night, Brandon. Man, it, it was it was definitely great to be a part of, and I mean, a lot of people, you know, getting better one week at a time, man. And I'm just loving how everything's starting to starting to gel together. Brandon, did you think the team was having enough fun in the first two games? And I asked the question because you know what the coach talked about at his meeting on Saturday night. Uh, I didn't. I don't. I didn't know what happened. You. <laughs> <laughs> He said he wanted you guys to have fun. Do you think the team, a lot of the guys on the team, were not? You know what? I think, I think he's don't talking play coy about. With me again, nah, this is what I'm telling you. Let me tell you this. I think huh. it's more of just having fun, enjoying that we got the best job in America, and we go out there to play football and, and to play this game. So, man, make sure that you bring your energy. And so, I, I mean, I love that challenge uh, Coach brought to, to the team. I feel like we received it well. And didn't, wasn't you out there partying too? Yeah. Well, you, I, I, you oh, you were, hold on, you were dancing? <laughs> yeah, you didn't see me? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs>